Love is a chatterbox. I love talking. Get ready for that. I really like it if a girl can make me laugh because most girls aren't usually that funny. Do you shave everywhere? I need a man that, you know, believes in himself. I mean, I think I'm awesome. You, you know, wanted me to see sexy men. Your... Well, you chose Magic Mike, right? You had other choices. This is Cinema Dates, the dating show courtesy of Sky Cinema. Over the series, we're set to meet 20 real-life individuals who are looking for romance and are ready to be paired up on a date, and perhaps bond over popcorn, a glass of Diablo, and hopefully one of the thousands of films available on Sky Cinema. My love life has to be perfect, and what I mean by that is I just want someone who is comfortable enough. To be honest, I'm quite open-minded in terms of type, but just like the vibe has to be there. Someone who can be quite chill as well at the same time and just like kind of likes to explore and adventure, just likes new things. Cinema Dates is sponsored by the daringly delicious Diablo. I like a man that is actually very masculine. Like when I look at him, I'm like, this is my man, like all muscled up, <laughs> you know? A cracking smile is, it does do a lot for me, to be honest. Someone who dresses well, you know, I like someone who takes pride in their appearance. I'm expecting to see some drop dead gorgeous man walking down that door and then he's like excited to see me. Uh, he has to be like tall at least, you know, I'm not asking for too much. And I'm your host, matchmaker and comedian Michael Spicer and I'll be watching along with you and commenting because who doesn't love being judged by a complete stranger? Um, my name is Chase, I'm from London. I'm 28 and I've been single for about a year now. Since then I've just been on like a few dates here and there and stuff like that. Some have been all right, you know, it's not all been sort of like dates from hell or anything like that. It's actually been like okay sometimes, but nothing that really kind of hits. To be honest, I'm quite open-minded in terms of type, but of course I'd have to be attracted to you. Open-minded, that's great. Someone who just like fits every single thing that I would have ideally. Okay, but fits every single thing that he would have ideally. You know, for example, in terms of like, yeah, like the looks, the personality, the vibes, the, the banter, all of that. I'm Love, I'm 28 years old. I live in North London. Originally, I'm Nigerian. I've been single for a year now. I want someone who, you know, is actually compatible. He's doing okay for himself, you know, and he's got into that step, the same step I've got into where I'm like, you know what, I want a relationship. So I don't want someone who is there for games. If you want games, there are a lot of girls that want games. I don't want games, you know, that's not the stage I am in my life. I've done that and I'm done with it now, so yeah. Oh, how unlucky that love's been unlucky in love. I love him being, like, you know, extremely tall. Basically, she wants Magic Mike. I love him being gorgeous, like really handsome, like wherever we go to people are like, oh, who's this gorgeous couple, that sort of thing. So definitely I love that. And I love someone who is very romantic because I love it. I love, I love love, actually. My name is not just love for the fun of it. My name is love because I definitely love love. So ahead of today, Chase got to pick the Sky Cinema movie. He had the choice between Magic Mike's Last Dance, Knock at the Cabin and Shrek. Let's find out later if he made the right decision. OK, let's see how our dates get on as they actually meet. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi, hey, how are you? I'm nice good. You. Same here. Uh, what's Lovely your name? You. My name is Love. What's yours? Love? Yeah. Oh, okay. How, how well, ironic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Don't Chase. tell me you're Love. Oh, you're Chase. Okay, yeah. Chase and Love. What's going on here? Hey. Yeah, okay. That is, that is actually ironic, isn't it? Have you ever been on a blind date? I mean, when you say blind, we're talking about... If you're talking about blind, blind. Blind, blind, like having no idea, like what's going on now. Yes, we're talking about blind, blind, as in a blind date. I don't know how more blind you want a blind date to be. Kind of have, yeah. but at the same time, it's not really been like this or anything like that. We yeah. know absolutely nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, say for example, your friend says to you, hey, I'm going to go and see someone for drinks to have yeah. a friend with them, mm -hmm. come along. Then yeah. obviously I haven't met that person. <laughs> that's pretty much as blind as it's gone, but yeah. that's a lot less kind of mm. deep. Honestly, um, I mean, I have been on one, but it wasn't exactly blind, mm -hmm. but it was a case of like not being told the truth. Like, oh, this is me, but that's not him. That sort of thing, do you get? Oh, what, and you then got when I got there, yeah. yeah. And then I got there, I was like, who is this person? Like, totally different. It is terrible catfishing someone. It's never going to end well. You're always going to get found out. It's a bit like lying on your CV to get a, a job presenting a podcast, which I've definitely never done. Back to our cinema daters. Uh, honestly, my dating experience has not been that bad, but I think the thing is, it's just always similar like there's something missing so I get into a relationship today and then probably a couple of weeks later I'm already tired like oh my god is this how relationships happen so it's not really been rose it's been rose of the first few weeks but after time like you know over time I'm like is this really what I signed up for where I have to like stop with one person ah so you get bored easily I have to take all he brings in like I'm not even ready for that kind of life 
Okay, let's help them settle with some coffee, some popcorn, and some awkward questions from our lovely Aiden. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> I love popcorn, by the way. I'm, I'm so addicted you to do. it. You do, really. But doesn't it not defend? Because sometimes it does taste like cardboard. It does taste like cardboard. It really does. But but it's tasty cardboard. Okay, so I've got Thank some you, questions for you here. So oh, you have? Oh, okay, this should okay. be interesting. If you were to feature in a horror film, what would be the scariest situation you could be in? Because of my fear, <laughs> my fear of horror movies, um, I think Ooh. I'm going to keep it simple because I'm one of those people I run away from it. I think the, oh really? The, yeah, because it's just scary. I'm just like, I don't know. Does it depend on the situation though or just sort of like anything? It's, it's always scary, but I think the mm -hmm. one I could actually go with is sort of mm -hmm. like being a vampire. I don't know if that qualifies as horror though. That's not exactly the scariest situation you've ever been in, but let, let's roll with it. But because vampires are kind of know. sexy, so it's like, are they? I just can bite someone off that. So it's always that like, scene looks kind of painful. I know, no, not the way, but I'm <laughs> okay. going to be the vampire biting. <laughs> so, but okay. it, just, look, it looks kind of... But then how would you know that? What if you're the victim in this case? No, no, I'm, I'm not going to be the victim. I'm going to be the... Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, what, the what hero. Job? <laughs> this is massively confusing, but great, because they're flirting, so it doesn't matter. What? Imagine, like, a possessed child or a really old person mm -hmm. chasing you, because they're always the worst kind. That's true, because few of the horrors I've actually watched, that's sort mm. of like the story, and then you're just running like, oh, leave me alone! Exactly, you know, and then you thought you got rid of them and you just turn around in your bed and she's just there. You know, so like something like that, I'm no, I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't I like, like that, that, you know. Are we still talking about a horror here? Now I would like to say um, I'm quite confident usually. As long as sort of their vibe is quite fun and can kind of at least kind of bring some kind of energy, then I would, I'm always kind of just like very fun and outgoing and very chatty and stuff like that. But then if your energy is very, very low and I'm just kind of just asking questions and you're answering them, I most likely will get bored extremely quickly. Right, what food should never be bought into the cinema? I'd say probably a tuna salad or a salad niçoise because that has tuna and boiled eggs. I feel like a lot of like nasty food actually yeah. comes into it. But I think I'm going to say Chinese rice. I mean, I do love Chinese <laughs> rice, but, but it's just going to be weird when you're just like, OK, this is time for it. Let's go get some of the prawns and stuff. And just, I'm like, this is nah, this is yeah. nah. nah. It doesn't just, it doesn't flow well. When has that ever happened to you? I don't actually know what would be like, like a specific bad food, but I would think that anything that smells, you know? Hmm. Anything that's kind of the smelly, like mm. why would you have that? Because that's just yeah. not courteous for anyone. Right, so food that smells and Chinese rice. I didn't think we were going there, but that's fine. It's actually really cute, like life is like a box of Why is it just written on yours and not mine? Budget couldn't stretch to that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm so I jealous. Oh, it's alright. Okay, mine is a love movie, so I'll take it. No, you, not you love movies, right? I just, I just. There you go. <laughs> All in all, dating love is fun because it's never a dull moment. I'm the life of the party when I need to be. I'm a professional when I need to be. And I'm a sweet, loving human when I need to be as well. So I'm just that in between. But at the same time, I'm amazing. Don't forget humble. Now, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I mean, I'm really quite an outgoing person. I was, yeah. um, I'm quite sporty as well. Mm -hmm. so I like to play Ooh, a lot of basketball. So do you go to the gym and stuff? Basketball? Gym, yeah. No. What's your height? I'm 6'3". Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's see what's going on here. Okay. Two flips. After 6'3", that's good. I dance as well, like a choreograph oh, and stuff. Really? Yeah, yeah. You're going to teach me some moves, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I want to shake it up. <laughs> yeah, well, it seems like you got it down already, look at you. <laughs> little shimmy and all of that. <laughs> Which movie character would you like to take on a date? I'm going to say Black Panther, rest in peace to him. As so you want him to come in like full suited, Black Panther out, helmet, I'm just going to be all, you know, I'm going to have my own suit as well. Probably a Wonder Woman sort of suit, so I'm just going to come all uh, sexy. Wonder Woman's DC, so. Wouldn't work. Interesting that you said that. Yeah, I was like, you know, no, nice, 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 nice. <laughs> what about you? I probably would have said, probably Wonder Woman. Mm. I reckon she'll be, I mean, she's a strong woman. Uh -huh. I, I like that. You love <laughs> you know? strong women? Absolutely, yeah. Mm. I'll see myself as quite a strong man, so therefore, mm -hmm. I like a strong woman by my side. Okay, it's time to find out what movie they're going to be watching from Sky Cinema today. I don't know what movie we're seeing today. I have no idea. You don't? Mm -mm. Not at all. No, it's all on you. No pressure then. And I better hope that you picked something good. In my head, I'm just like, what is what 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 is it? What is that? <laughs> Tonight. Yeah. We're seeing Magic Mike, The oh, Last Dance. Okay. Okay. That's right. This, this is what I'm moves. saying. Yeah, yeah. So this is all the right. sauce and all of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is what I mean. This is mm. what I mean. So the flavors will be it. there. Mm -hmm. You can learn some couple of moves from there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll be very entertaining for you. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. This is exciting. So Chase has selected Magic Mike's Last Dance, which is arriving on Sky Cinemas soon. First of all, it's not a documentary about me. 
It features Channing Tatum and Salma Hayek, plus lots of sexy dancing, if you're into that sort of thing. And let's face it, who isn't? So we've given them an interval so that they can stretch their legs, do a little dance and uh, chat about the film and find out, more importantly, what they think about each other. It's been exciting <laughs> because like, I came into this like experiment, like I like to call it, uh, totally blind. I'm just like, oh, what's going to go on? Am I going to like him? Is it going to be a bit too much? Yeah, it's been quite fun so far, actually. Like, the movie's been fun. We've been speaking quite a lot like through it and stuff. And yeah, she's bringing good vibes. I think Chase is having a good time as well because I mean who wouldn't be, you know? <laughs> mm, it's going pretty well. Right, back to the cinema they go for the second half of Magic Mike's Last Dance. Then we can hear the reviews. Oh, arm in arm. Look at that, arm in arm. Oh my god, so what do you think about Magic Mike? It's cool, he's just he's out here doing his thing, mm -hmm. making money. Making money. Hey. <laughs> One more to life. Huh? And then there were some sexy ladies as well, you know. There was a few here and there. Yeah, there know. was a few little ones, you know what I mean? Yeah, he knew what he was selecting. But no, there was actually some, yeah, some good ones there as well. Uh -huh. But I'm, I'm sure there was for you as well. Like I'm sure you oh, like. Oh, a lot of mercy. Okay, guys, let's let, let's keep things PG here, okay? It's 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 getting a bit fruity. So what about you? Have you got that sort of like body as well? Are, like, we, are we talking oiled or unoiled? Unoiled. Unoiled. <laughs> <Let's start> on. <laughs> unoiled. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. <laughs> I mean, I keep myself in shape and stuff like that. Yeah, it keeps himself in shape, but it's not oiling himself all the time. I mean, I'm not going to like compare myself to them guys, because then there's oh, one of them guys that were jacked they up. Were yeah, hot. that guy was jacked. Oh, Lord. Now, oiling isn't for everyone. You know, when I oil myself up, it's more tragic Mike than magic Mike. It was a, it was a good choice. I'll, I'll give that to you. Yeah. You were not so bad yourself. Yeah, you were a good company mm. there, you know. Yeah, Quite a good company yeah, on yeah. that. I mean, it, like, you was pretty focused on the thing anyway. I think you might have drooled on my, uh, on my shoulder at one point as well. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Really now? Really? Yeah, yeah. You want to I mean, do that? Listen, there was a lot of gyrating going on. I think it was during that scene. You might have been like, oh Lord, and then like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, everything was just happening. Cinema Dates is sponsored by the daringly delicious Diablo. What's your take on like hers, all of the body, probably for the woman or the man, which is oh. you? So like, do mm. you shave everywhere? Shave everywhere. So yeah. when, when we say everywhere, like what are we talking, are we talking? Okay. Are we talking face? Are we talking arms? Are we talking legs? Are we talking crutch? Like, <laughs> what exactly are we talking about here? Like, <laughs> oh look, Aiden's back. Thank goodness. I need a Diablo myself. Okay, what I mean, I mean arms. <laughs> arms, yeah. Yeah, like armpits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then put it that way. Okay. And of course, like you know, the personal area. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why like you one of the shavers. You one of the people that say, "Oh no, no, no! I love the ad. I love nature. I don't want to shave." I'm going to be honest with you. This is a bold line of questioning for a first date or a second date, or or any any date. You know, what is it for you? I mean, I do love nature, but I don't think when it comes down to shaving, I don't think that applies in the same ways. <laughs> so then... <laughs> <laughs> now let's let's cheers to this first. Let's go. All right. Let's cheers to uh, a lasting relationship, whatever this is. <laughs> Good vibes, I like that. Good vibes. Whatever this is, who cares? I had, a, I had a great day, so I would say yeah. thank you for a great day. No, no, it's very, very well. Mm -hmm. No, no, you're very welcome, for sure. <laughs> and I'm glad, I'm glad you had fun, though, because mm -hmm. I did too. So, yeah. Nice. So now Magic Mike has danced his last dance, but fingers crossed Love and Chase haven't dated their last date. Let's find out how it's gone. Do you think you'll see each other again? <laughs> I'll let you go first. No. Well, hey, listen, hey, listen, I told you. Remember when you said this, right? <laughs> You said ladies first earlier, did you not? Oh, now you know it's ladies first. That's right, <laughs> that part right there. And so, because of that reason, me being a gentleman and all, Oh my God. I think it would be only right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, uh, I mean, I do think we'll see each other again. I think I think he's, he's a great guy. He's, he's actually nice and sweet, so mm. not too bad. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Um, yeah, yeah, I reckon we'll see each other again. It was a good vibe, you know what I mean? Like, we had laughs, like, you should the whole way through today. So, yeah, so why not, you know? Yup, have a drink and then, yeah. Have a drink? Yeah, or mm. three. <laughs> <laughs> not just one. <laughs> yeah, this is a win. I'm counting this as a win. Flirting and laughing and that. Yeah! <laughs> and, and clapping.
A big thank you to both Chase and Love, who were wonderful to listen in on, and I really hope they do meet up again. I've been Michael Spicer, and this has been Cinema Dates. See you next time.